today we have with us Mr. Mayur Patel, who is a mechanical engineer and this year in engineering service examinations, he has scored All India Rank 3rd. Welcome mm. Mayur. Thank you ma'am. How are you feeling after the results? Uh, ma'am, actually I'm feeling very excited because uh, I was, uh, when I was preparing, it was a very hard journey. So it was not, I could not think I could achieve such a good rank mm -hmm. with such a, such a short duration. Mm -hmm. But considering the rank which I have got, I feel very lucky as well as very privileged to get such a good rank. Uh, Mayur, this year you have also qualified GATE with uh, AIA rank 544. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, like uh, you were preparing for GATE and simultaneously for ESC or it was like... Uh, okay. Uh, basically, ma'am, during the co classroom course, I tried to use uh, the classroom course to build my concept. So, mm -hmm. I was like, for any exam you need to crack, first you need to build your concepts. Mm -hmm. Once your concepts are built, you need to practice for the particular exam. Mm -hmm. So, for that, test series is the most useful thing which I feel. Mm -hmm. And after going through such a long preparation, uh, I think you can crack any exam which you want. So, mm -hmm. I didn't focus specifically on GATE or ESC. I tried to prepare for both the exams simultaneously. Uh, Mayur, you are from Jalgaon, Maharashtra. Yes, ma And uh, you are a graduate from College of Engineering, Pune. Yes, yeah, Pune. Yes. So, what has inspired you to take up this engineering service or GATE exams? Okay, uh, ma'am, basically from the college, I was a very technical kind of person. So, I wanted to do something in a technical field. Mm -hmm. So, I felt that you know, preparing for engineering service examination is mm -hmm. the best way to utilize my technical skills for the masses. Mm -hmm. So that's why I prepared for engineering services examination. So what are your plans you are seeing for the masses? So yeah. what are your plans currently? Pollution is a big problem and yeah, you are a yes. mechanical engineer. Yes, so what are your plans? Ma'am, I feel that most of the in technological part which is there present in most of our government organization, mm -hmm. it is still lacking considering uh, the technical innovations which are uh, happening outside. So as young, fresh graduates from college, I feel that most many of us should try to improve the technological part mm -hmm. as such to bring in new technologies and to make it more efficient. As you were saying, pollution is a big problem. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why, uh, that is how I want to serve the country. Good to see the enthusiasm and hope it continues. Yes, yeah? ma'am. Okay, Mayur, uh, you have been our classroom student. Uh, you have been a super talent bath student. You have also appeared in test series for ESC as mm. well as Gates. And uh, you have also been a student in our interview guidance program. Yes, ma'am. So, over and over, like almost all the courses you have done yes, from ADZ. Oh. So, how has been your uh, experience of these courses? Um, Ma'am, basically, as I was saying, the classroom co course is thoroughly extensive. Mm -hmm. So, it covers all the syllabus, all the faculties, they try to build your concept, mm -hmm. which is very good. And now coming to the test series part, it, uh, the test series are highly relevant to the current examinations which are happening. So, you get to practice a lot. So, it be builds up your confidence. So, while going for the real exam, you are a very confident person mm -hmm. and you are sure you are going to crack the exam as such. And for the interview guidance, same can be said. Okay, yes. Test series give you some kind of uh, experience of the uh, yeah, sure. examination mm. hall. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Mayur, did you also refer to some other books or uh, whatever content in the classroom or study material that you have got from the institute uh, okay. sufficed to your requirement? Ma'am, uh, I relied on uh, the notes which were provided by Made Easy mm -hmm. as well as for some subjects if you want to dig a bit deeper like if you are interested in thermal engineering. Mm -hmm. So, you can use a reference book as such mm -hmm. which I think which uh, makes you more confident while mm -hmm. attempting a particular course or while giving reply in an interview. Mm -hmm. So, made easy material simultaneously with that you can use reference books to solve your doubts. Mm -hmm. So, I think those are sufficient to crack any exam. Okay, uh, Mayur, like you passed out in 2016. Yes, ma'am. So, honestly, tell, uh, tell us how much time actually one needs to prepare for this exam. Okay, ma'am, after passing out from college, I got placement, so I was working in a company. After that, I left the job and I started my engineering services preparation. Uh, I feel that uh, preparing for any exam depends on the personality uh, of a particular person. Mm -hmm. So, basically for saying, I was like a very 
uh, unstable person initially. I couldn't focus because I had passed out one year ago and my concepts were weak. So during the course of the preparation, my uh, setting time for a particular session for preparation increased as well as like during test series, they, we have to set for three hours. Mm -hmm. So that also makes you, uh, means, uh, I think that is enough to prepare mm -hmm. as well as, and you need to take sufficient breaks as such, like while preparing for mains, I remember like every time you prepare for mains, mm -hmm. the duration is very less and every day you feel like you are doing something wrong. You are, If you're preparing for thermo, you are like you're missing on production as such. Mm -hmm. So I think it is more a uh, e ESC is more a test of your endurance mm -hmm. as such. Mm -hmm. So I feel setting for these many hours is not enough. It is what suits you and what builds your confidence that needs to be followed by a particular person. Yes, endurance is the key. Yes, ma'am, endurance is the key. And uh, Mayur, it's like it's a long process. Prelims, then you come for your uh, mains, and yes. then uh, third phase is your interview. Yes, ma'am. Uh, many times uh, there are ups and lows. Many times you feel low. Many times you yes. feel high. Yeah. So how could you manage with this? Uh, ma'am, that's very correct. You have very highs and lows. Sometimes you mm -hmm. get very good rank in your test series. Sometimes it is very bad. Mm -hmm. So during the course of preparation, what I did was when I was feeling a bit low, I used to read some short stories or read a read newspaper that helps you in general studies also. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this was like I'm very uh, read means reading is my hobby. Mm -hmm. So I use that to complement my studies and basically it improves your focus also as well as makes you aware of general knowledge which will be used in any interview, yes, be it yes. PSU or ESE. Yes, yes. Yes, reading good books, books are the best yes, friends. Yes, books yeah? are the best friends. And they are the great motivators. Yeah, sure. You need to have some kind of a hobby to relax your yes, nerves. Yes, yes. Yeah? And sure, you can write it in your DAF also, mm -hmm. which will be very relevant during the interview. They ask so you questions. I, yes, sure. So, pursuing a hobby, I think, is the best way to uh, get out of depression and to rise again from your lows. Yeah. Mayur, uh, like, uh, what was the strategy for prelims and then for mains? Was it the same or was it different? Uh, Ma'am, I basically for prelims, my strategy was initially to cover the paper because the paper is too long. You mm -hmm. don't get enough time. Mm -hmm. So while giving test series, you get an idea. Ki, okay, these many questions. If I leave out, I will be able to complete the paper. I should not spend time of that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the main strategy for prelims, I will say, is time management. Time management. Because everybody can solve the paper if the time is more, but mm -hmm. only time is the constraint. And that too, you don't have calculators and all, so you need to be mentally prepared to do the mathematics and algebra. So, I feel uh, time management is the key and that you can manage by giving the test series. Yeah, test series help you yeah. a yeah. lot in yes, this time management. management they part. prepare you for the actual exam. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And for mains, I will recommend is that you just, uh, as you have prepared for prelims, mm -hmm. you have adequate knowledge. Mm -hmm. The only thing in which you are lacking is you need to write subjective answers. Year two, what I will recommend, you need to solve a lot many of questions. So, while with test series, you need to practice at your home or your study table. Mm -hmm. You just solve a lot of questions. Yes. That is the main part. And uh, during the exam, you have choice to solve only five questions. So it basically boils down in first 15 minutes what you are going to do. Mm -hmm. So I feel that you need to do a bit of smart work. You need to leave some questions which you are very bad at with in some fields in which you are very uh, not confident as such and attempt the questions in mm -hmm. which you are confident. So mm -hmm. that takes a little bit of practice yes. and I feel that is the only strategy which I followed. So hard work, perseverance and smart work. A smart work, sure. Yes. Smart so work all is the three key. according to you are the key pillars for a success. Yes ma'am. Yeah? Okay, and the interview is a completely different uh, yes, out of, like, if you t take the three phases, com uh, interview is completely different from mm, your mm, prelims and mm. mains. So, were you comfortable? How was the board? Could you share some uh, experience okay. of yours? Uh, Ma'am, I was in all the three stages, like prelims, mains and interview. I was most sure about interview okay. because <laughs> I know I could crack it because mm. since starting, I was uh, reading the newspaper, I was well aware and... Uh, answering uh, regarding the interview I will say is confidence is the key so mm -hmm. for me I was confident from the start because I was preparing current affairs simultaneously from the prelims as well so 
for prelims i will recommend ki be aware about your general surrounding technical part you are preparing in the classroom as yes, such yes. but if you supplement it with something from outside pursuing hobbies as i was saying before so it will make you more confident person you can give very good answers as such so like uh, you are constantly talking about current affairs so yes, was the board asking you more questions on current or it was more of a technical interview ma'am as it is a technical uh, examination mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so most of the members they ask you from technical they ask you technical question yes. whereas the chair person he ask you about current affairs so i was asked more current affairs question by the person and i replied them very honestly as well as share same some thing. of the questions because generally uh, the people think of technical so non technical aspect okay. of this exam could you just share so ma'am i was initially asked from where i was passed out next the next question the follow up question was ki uh, how many engineers pass out every year okay so basically i was very blank out i didn't know the number then i remembered ki on the gate uh exam gate score card they mentioned the number of people who have given the exam okay <laughs> so it striked me and i replied uh, so they are like ki okay so these many people give the exam so what is why are they not employed how mm-hmm. can we employ them okay. so it basically went towards that side okay. and i replied very uh, properly so i was appreciated by the chairperson mm-hmm. at the same time mm-hmm. so it made me very confident as such rest of the technical questions you can correct. so even like uh, non technical questions were also somewhere revolving around your engineering only yes yeah yes, sure number of engineers yes, their employment yeah, employability yes. factors and all yes ma'am okay so mayur uh, would you like to share something uh, with the future aspirants uh, because this is a long process you are from 2016 now it is 2002 years okay. so anything that you want to share which is going to help the future aspirants for this exam uh ma'am i would basically like to tell future aspirants is that hard work and endurance that is the only thing which is tested in an engineering services examination mm-hmm. so if you want to crack engineering services examination along with the preparation supplement it with some hobby use something uh, to motivate you to uh, get you out when you are low when you are feeling low and once you endure through all the stages that is the only thing which has been tested by engineering service examination so i feel uh, constant preparation is not the key mm-hmm. smart preparation along with endurance means as uh, it happens is like people get demotivated because their marks started coming low as such so i feel don't get bogged down by such marks mm-hmm. you need to endure through that phase yes. a good phase will start yes so i feel constant preparation is the key So constant preparation, faith in yourself, faith in yourself, and confident. Confidence. Neither over nor under. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, Mayur. After clearing this ESE, any further aspirations? Uh, ma'am, as such, I what I feel now is to get more practical knowledge as such. Mm-hmm. So currently there are no aspirations. I don't know whether during the future course of journey I may get some. Mm-hmm. but currently there are no future aspiration i feel i have done a lot okay uh, <laughs> any aspirations to get into civil service uh, exams and sure uh, ma'am at, uh, sure ma'am but uh, down the line with proper experience i feel after that i should pursue civil services exam because you have said you are a very technical person sure, so sure. yeah you would be interested to come into the generalist jobs also because this is a specialist job sure but i feel that i am not exposed to that field mm-hmm. so once during engineering services you get to prepare your management management skill as well as yes. technical skills so based on my liking at that point of time and as the future guides you through time only can tell so that's how i feel about future so mayur once again lots of congratulations thank you and wishing you all the best in your future journey okay thank you ma'am thank you ma'am